today's video is going to be doing an eye look with a palette I got a long time ago and have been meaning to do a look with and just haven't yet. And a lot of times I won't touch a palette until I get to like do a video and show you guys first. So I have not touched this palette. And it is one of the ones that I put together from Makeup Geek, um, from, you know, single shadows that I picked out. And it's the one that looks like this. It is very summery and happy and I'm all about it. So I'm excited to get into it. And um, I also am wearing a pair of earrings that Wendy from Wendy's Creations, My Life Wendy here on um, YouTube, made for me. And um, I will have her information linked down below so that you guys can check that out. I have a couple different videos now up of one where I did an unbagging of a mystery um, bag that I ordered from her of earrings. And then one where I did a collab with Clara Barrera and um, Debbie Novelak for pairs of earrings that we all got from her that were similar. So um, I love her and I love the jewelry she makes and so I'm going to point out to you every time that I wear something from her and these are one of my favorite pairs. So okay, I figured since my last several videos have been um, more sped through and I had quite a few people say I like your chatty videos so I'm like okay I will chat a little. So I put my face makeup on so we will just do an eye look together and I plan to get a little bit crazy with it. We'll see how it goes. But um. So we'll just kind of have to play around a little and see what I come up with here. But um, I'll just kind of show you. I don't remember the names. In the video that I did with this palette, I said what the names were of the shadows. I don't have them like written on here somewhere. So um, I'll just point to the ones that I'm using. Um, but I figured I would talk about something fun and happy because why in the world wouldn't we talk about something fun and happy? Like we all need that. But um. So I figured I would talk about summer and what summer looks like usually for me and my family, my family and I. And um, as you may know, if you've been around here for a while, I do not enjoy hot weather. I just, there's something about heat that makes me super uncomfortable. I'd rather be cold any day than hot. Um, it just, I don't know. I feel like when you're cold, you can like do things to get warmer. And when you're too hot, like, there's only so much you can do kind of thing. And um, I get, I become like some sort of monster when I get too hot. Like, I'm not crazy. I'm not like a total jerk or something. But it just makes me very unhappy and uncomfortable. But there are things about summer, aside from the heat, that I do enjoy. And um, one of the main ones being camping. I grew up camping. My husband and his family they camped, you know, all growing up. You know what? I'm going to quickly do like, hmm, is that what I want to do first? No, I'm going to do one other thing first. Um, so that was great that, you know, my husband was someone who camped growing up and stuff too. I'm going to use this because that made it very easy to transition into that he and I together and then with our family. Um, camped. We actually went part of our honeymoon. We went part of it to Niagara Falls and stayed um, on the U.S. No, do we stay on the Canada side or the U.S. side? I don't remember now. I think no, we stayed on the Canada side. I'm almost positive. Um, that's terrible. Yes, we did. We absolutely stayed on the Canada side. Wow. <laughs> Come on, people. It's been almost 21 years. <laughs> um, and. So we stayed and went to Niagara Falls for part of the time. And then we went to a campground called The Pinery that's also in Canada. And that was a place that I grew up camping at. And like my aunts and uncles, cousins, my grandma, obviously my parents and my sisters and stuff, we all camp together. Um, we have my whole entire life. So there will be a real good group of us, like 40 or more a lot of times, all camped together. And... um. It's so much fun, and it's something that we still do. Um, I don't always get to go. Actually, I haven't been able to go the last couple of years, but they do like a big 10-day trip. Um, my mom and her sisters and brother, she has three sisters and a brother, and um, then all their families and my grandma and stuff um, do like a 10-day trip together and all my cousins and everybody. Um, if it's close enough, we just go and visit for the days because our church camp starts partway through that trip so we usually can't go um for the whole trip like we might go for like that first weekend or something and then leave because it's kind of a lot to go from one camping trip to then our church camp trip we're there for at least 12 days sometimes more 
because we like to go up a little bit early. So, um, you know, it would just be kind of too much to do both of them. And, you know, um, now that I work, last year was my first summer working in a long time. I can't just take off, you know, an infinite number of days either. <laughs> so that doesn't work. But, um, yeah, love camping. It's been a family thing. So, um, the Pinery was a place that our family used to always go when it was easier to go to Canada. Like you didn't have to have passports or all that kind of stuff. Um, and we would just drive our campers over there and go camp. But on our honeymoon, we had a tent. So we camped and oh my gosh, you guys, this is so ridiculous. I don't know if I've told the story or not in a video before, but um, on our honeymoon. So one of the main things, especially, I mean, like in a tent, you do not take food in there. Like you lock it in your car overnight and they tell you to do that because of the animals. The raccoons at the pinery were crazy. Um, okay, let me go do, I'm going to do a cut crease, but I'm not going to take all that time to video it. And then we'll come back and I'll finish. I'll pick back up where I left off with my talking and um, pick up with the eyelid. Okay, cut creases are very tricky for me because my eyes are very uneven and so the shape is completely different. This eye is much more hooded than this eye and so it gets a little tricky. That's why I hardly ever do them, but I wanted to do something fun. Okay, um, anyway, so you are not supposed to keep food and stuff in your tent. You're supposed to put it in your car because the animals can smell it and whatever. And the raccoons there, there are a ton of raccoons and they are not afraid of you. Like they will come right up and take food out of your hand. They don't encourage you doing that, but but they will. And actually one year they tied my grandma. She fell asleep in like one of those lounge chairs by the fire. So they bungee corded her to the chair. That's how asleep she was and put marshmallows between her toes. And the raccoons were coming up and taking the marshmallows from between her toes and taking them and eating them. They recorded it, it was hilarious. And I think she woke up, well, yeah, she did. And she didn't like freak out because you're not really like, you're not scared of them. I don't know. Like, you are, but you're not. Like, you should be. Like, you should have a healthy fear of them. <laughs> they are a wild animal. But, like, I don't know. It was ridiculous. Our family did ridiculous things. Okay, I'm going to take this green now. And, um, so, the, so my husband, I did not know it, but it was late at night. You know, we had, like, a fan in our tent. It had been raining, and it was really, like, humid and stuff. So we had like this fan in our tent and you know we had a lantern for light and stuff we were playing like um card games because we're total game like players like that this color is amazing do you see this oh my goodness i'm so excited about this why have i waited so long to play with this palette um anyway so we're playing games and stuff and all of a sudden my husband busts out this package of soft batch cookies and i'm like what are you doing? Like, it's like late at night. So, okay. So saying about the fan and stuff, we had a cord running from the electric box into our tent. So there was like an opening about this big where the zipper was open so that the cord could come through, you know? And, um, so he starts eating these cookies and I'm like, why do you have those in here right now? Like it's nighttime and the animals are out prowling around, you know, and whatever. Well, the next thing you know, we start hearing the sound by our tent and I'm like, oh my gosh. Well, then you're seeing a little nose poke in through the spot where the um, cord is coming through our door that we have like a little gap. And then you're seeing the little hands. Those puppies can open anything. Let me tell you. Um, another little side note about them. They, one year when we were there, my dad left, unfortunately, like the window on our car open like this much like cracked and in the night so we had the food in the car because at that time we still had a um tent when we were kids we ended up they ended up getting a um pop-up when I was like a teenager and stuff and then once I moved away they got a motorhome and then a trailer and now they're back to another motorhome but um one time yeah when we had like food we had like leftover spaghetti and it was in a pot with a lid on it in the back seat of the car but my dad had left the window cracked and in the morning, oh my gosh, there were little paw prints everywhere of spaghetti sauce. They had spaghetti stuff torn all out because they were able to get in through that crack in the car and just annihilated everything. The whole inside of the car had spaghetti stuff everywhere. You guys, I can't even make this stuff up. It's ridiculous. But such good memories. So I'm glad I'm doing this. Um, and another time, 
somebody was accusing somebody else of stealing a battle a bottle of liquor off their picnic table and we're like you guys like these raccoons take anything and they're like oh why would they take that it's not like you know whatever they can open it or something we ended up catching them opening one and they can totally open bottles they have little hands that I, it's so ridiculous so it was hilarious but um Anyway, so my husband and I, here we are, and we're seeing this little nose poking and these little hands, and I'm like, Brian, I'm going to kill you. Like, this thing is going to end up in the tent with us. Like, we're starting to freak out, right? So I'm about to bust out, because I'm our tent had a back door, too. So I was, like, about to bust out that back door and get the heck out of there. He starts just shoveling these cookies in his mouth as fast as he can. He's just trying to eat this whole... He ate this entire package of cookies and threw the thing out the back door, which then they kind of went, whatever. And he made himself so sick. I wonder when the last time in, or when the next time was that he had soft batch cookies. I've never really liked them, so I didn't care. But, um, yeah. So that was so beyond ridiculous. Okay, now I'm going to take this one here. But, yeah, that was just a little uh, summer camping adventure on our honeymoon. That is definitely memorable. Oh, my gosh. I love it. I love thinking back and stuff like that. It's so funny. So that was how we started out. Our marriage was our honeymoon at uh, Niagara Falls and then camping and the whole soft batch cookie raccoon incident. So that was fun stuff. <laughs> and um, it was just a little taste. I already knew because I grew up with my husband. So I knew what a doof he is. He's not a doof. He's He's a funny doof, like not a dorky, nerdy one, just funny and makes you crack up all the time. Like everyone who knows him just thinks he's the great, he's like the greatest guy. He is a sweetheart. I've never heard him say anything, you know, mean to anybody. He's just, he's got incredible patience with me too, because sometimes I can probably a pain. Um, let's be real, we all are sometimes. And he's just, he's just an incredible, incredible husband. I can't, and just man in general, he's such a good example to our sons of what a husband should be like, what a father should be like, and just a man in general, the way you should, um, you know, conduct yourself, the way you should treat people. He's just amazing. You guys, I am loving what's happening here, so I hope you're enjoying it too. Um, I think I am going to take a tiny bit of, these do have quite a bit of little kick up in the pan there, which is fine. I don't care, but um, do I want to take the really dark brown? Hmm, I'm trying to decide what I want to do. I think I'm going to take this one to just darken up the outer corners a little bit because I don't want it to be, I don't want it to completely change the color. I just, you know, like where the dark brown would be a lot more, um, you know, take over the color, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I just want to add a little tiny bit of depth right there. Yeah, that's doing it. Um, but yeah, so camping is definitely my favorite thing about summer. Um, we have our church camp, like I said, that we go to every year, which this year I think it might end up being canceled. And I am just about devastated over because um, my middle son, Riley, is a drummer. He is a senior this year, so he's kind of getting gypped on all that senior stuff. However, it's not his jam anyway, so he's been good about it, which makes it much easier on me because if it was stuff he was really upset about, I would be having a very hard time, but he's not, so that's nice. But the thing that is a bummer is he um, went down to Tennessee last summer. We went down to and just used it as like a little 20-year um, anniversary trip for my husband and I. Well, he went and drummed with this family. They're a very musical family. The dad is a pastor, and then um, the mom actually was, like, a recording artist. I mean, she's, like, amazing singer. And all of the kids are so talented, play instruments and sing and stuff. And so they travel all over and sing at different camps and things like that. And he preaches and stuff. And that's how we met them several years ago now at our church camp. And my son became really good friends with their kids and um so last year they invited him down to drum with them at this youth camp they were that the kids were fully leading worship for it was the parents weren't 
or like the mom wasn't part of it that for the first time. And so um, it was really exciting and he had a great time. They invited him back before he, they ever left. They invited him before we ever left. They invited him back for this year and stuff. So he was supposed to do it. Well, that's already been canceled because it was um, like the end of June. And so that's a bummer. And then they also asked him to drum with them at our big church camp, which there are thousands of people there. And um, it's amazing. It's like the coolest thing ever. It's my favorite place in the world. I love it so much. And um, so he was super excited because he was going to be drumming with them there this year. And um, I think we're supposed to find out on June 9th um, whether camp's going to be happening or not. And I'm going to guess it's not. Camp usually happens. It's the very end of July and into like the first week of August. <clears throat> and... Uh, so we're waiting on that, but I have a feeling that's going to happen. Um, but yeah, so that is a main part of our summers every year is our camp, our church camp. That's our whole family. That's our favorite thing, our favorite place to be, our favorite thing to do. We love it so much. So that is going to be very difficult this year if that doesn't happen, and especially since Riley was supposed to be drumming, you know, with leading worship all during camp. So that will be a bummer, but not the end of the world, obviously. And he's got a great attitude about it. That kid, he lets stuff just really roll off his back. Um, my kids are pretty good about that. They're better than I am. <laughs> so they're more like their dad in that way. He's a very, um, like, yeah, well, that's the way it is and move on kind of thing. And for me, it takes me a little bit longer to get to that point. I'm like, mm, I have to have my little, you know, moment first. Um, all right, so now, what color do I want to, I almost feel like I want to take that up a little bit. So it really has its time to shine. This color too, whatever this one is called, I can't remember. I want to say it's something about mango, but that might have been one of the other one, I'm not sure. Um, all I know is I love the color. And that green is bomb. Like, oh, it's so good. Okay. I'm, I know I'm going to be so excited. Now my earrings are not really going to match. I'm like, oh, green, blah, blah. You know what? I'm going to change to a different pair of earrings from Wendy so you can see another pair and one that will match better. Okay, so here is another pair, and these ones won't clash with the look. <laughs> so um, they're so cute, aren't they? They're just so fun. Oh, I love, I'm, oh, I love jewelry. I love makeup. I love clothes. Clothes are my absolute favorite. Always have been and jewelry and makeup is something that kind of came later in life. I mean, I always have liked it, but not like loved it like I do now. <clears throat> wow. I got real into it there. It even changed my voice. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and do the under eye. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and run, do I want to put this darker green underneath? I think I do. I think I'm going to do this green. I don't know. I mean, I say darker, but let's see what it looks like. And then I can always change it. The beauty of makeup. Oh yeah, that's not going to be dark enough. I have to have something dark under my eyes or it makes me look tired. I don't know why, but every time I do a look where there isn't a dark color up against my... Do you see what I mean? Like, even just putting that, I have to have something darker. I have no idea why. But, so I'm going to do that brown that I did at the outer corner and see if that will be dark enough. Or I might have to go into the darker. corner. No, that should do it. There's just something about light. You know, not having something dark up against my lash line that makes me look tired. It probably has something to do with like my eye shape or something. I'm not really sure. But... Is that going to be dark enough? I don't think it is. All right, I'm going to go into that darker brown down there. I just don't want it to change, like, the tone of the look is what I'm trying to avoid happening. Now that should be fine. Because then I'm going to smudge out some color underneath anyway. So no biggie. Actually, I think I'm going to take that bright green. Maybe I'll mimic the top. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just, we're going along with this together. I have no idea. So I'll take that green again and kind of go right along here. 
anyway, so yeah. Camping is my summer favorite. Also, bummer, because my husband and I were going to go to Tennessee again when Riley was down there. That would have been our third summer in a row, because the year before, we took him down to Tennessee for um, Camp Electric, which uh, Toby Mack is a Christian recording artist, and he does a musician's camp in Tennessee every year, um, and Riley had wanted to do it for years, and it's pretty expensive, and, you know, it was just something we were kind of like, uh, but the other kids, my other kids play sports and stuff. Riley is the artistic kid. He's the musician, and um, so we were like, you know what, he kind of gets chipped a little bit because, <clears throat> you know, the other kids get new basketball shoes, and new soccer shoes and new, you know, whatever, that kind of stuff. All these things that you're spending money on for them with all that stuff. And so it was like, you know what, we need to make this happen for him. And actually we had family come alongside that was just amazing and helped to be able to take him down there for that. It was an incredible experience. He absolutely loved it. Um, so that was awesome. Okay, so now I'm going to go into that one and do that over. Um, but yeah, so we had gone down to Tennessee then and we stayed near Gatlinburg and my youngest son was with us. My oldest son was working, so he couldn't, um, couldn't take off to go, but, and then, um, so that was really fun. We went to like the Ripley's Aquarium in Gatlinburg. If you're ever down there and can go, it is so awesome. That was so cool. That was my favorite thing. I'd totally go there again in a heartbeat. And, um, we spent several hours there. We had so much fun. Um, and then last year when Riley went down, we went and stayed near Franklin, um, Tennessee, just my husband and I kind of as a anniversary because it was our 20 year wedding anniversary. So we used that kind of as like our little trip away. I am loving what's happening. Okay. So now I have got this shimmery iridescent kind of color up here. I'm going to use that as my inner corner because I think it'll be perfect for this. And then I'm going to do something a little special special but I'm going to go off camera for it and come back and show you when I'm done. Oh yeah this is good because it's like an iridescent that has like a green shift to it and maybe even I think it's mostly a green so it goes perfect with that green that's right there. It's an awesome color. Oh, why did I take so long to get into this palette? I know what I'm going to be using for work on Sunday. Because, yeah, this is going to be fun. I'm not going to go all out like cut crease and stuff for work, but these colors I'm excited about. Okay, um, but yeah, so anyway, we went to Franklin last year, Franklin, Tennessee. We loved it so much, and so we were planning to go down again this year when he went down for that camp, but now that got canceled, so that means we don't get to go to Tennessee. So, you know, everything's weird right now for everybody, so it's not like a big boo-hoo, but it does kind of stink, you know. All right, so I'm going to go off camera, and I'm going to do a couple other things with my eyes, and then we'll come back, and we'll wrap this up. Okay, and here's my finished look. I kind of went all out. That's kind of the mood I'm in lately. And so um, I used this Crown Studio Glam Liner in solid gold. Looks like this. Like that. And I just ran that at the top of my cut crease to just add some fun to that. I used some of these Ardell um, Dummies, which are pretty big and flashy. And I can't imagine wearing them in public, but I'm just having fun. I'm just having fun. And then... Um, on my lips, I used the Wet n Wild um, lip liner in Willow and this Too Faced um, lipstick in Sunday Fun Day. And that is my lip. And yeah, that is my look. I am so happy with how it turned out. I kind of had this vision in my head that I was going to use that gold liner and all that good stuff. And then I was kind of like, you know what? I'm going to put some crazy lashes with it. And, um, just kind of have some fun. I've been so inspired by my cousin Debbie because she wears lashes all the time now in her videos. And I love the way lashes look. And even if they're, um, you know, not necessarily ones, I can't picture wearing these ones out because they're just so much to me. Um, but I think they're so fun for a look. Like when you're, 
you know, trying to create a really fun look like this, I feel like they just add so much to it. And so I'm like, I want to start playing with them more. And I am not good at application. They are not probably where they need to be. But I figure if I just keep doing this a lot in videos, I will get very used to wearing them. And I do have my magnetic ones too. Those ones are much easier for me to use. Um, so I do like to use those ones too. But I love the look of the other ones, like these type better, um, like glue on lashes is I guess I'm trying to say. I like that look better than the magnetic ones, but um, yeah, so I am really happy with this. So let me come up close and show you. Again, don't judge my lash application. I told you, I'm trying. So this is my look. I always love when I watch after and I'll be like not even in frame rate or something. But oh my goodness, did I have fun with this. And I love, 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 I knew I would. Love the colors in this palette. I feel pretty good about this little, I mean, I'm not some kind of professional, but I put these colors together in here and I think I did a good job. I, I love this look. I feel sassy and I'm gonna record another video with this look on because I feel like it's one of my better looks and I don't want to waste it. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this in my little chat about camping, summer type stuff. That is summer to me for the most part. The only other thing that I really love doing in the summer is we go to my mom and dad's house. They have a beautiful big log home and um, they have a pond and so we will have, um, they have like a little beach area with like a tiki bar and a pool table out there and um, we play games and there is... 70s classic rock playing loud and we float around on the pond and it is just so much fun they have a golf cart and they have all these trails so we ride through the trails and stuff so that is summer to me camping and that are the two things that i love about summer so um i would love for you to share with me down in the comments some of your favorite things about summer things that you're looking forward to that will hopefully be able to happen this summer because i um if nothing else, I want to just be able to be with my family. I would be perfectly happy with that to just be able to go with my sisters and our families and be at my mom and dad's. And a lot of times, I have a lot of times, all my aunts and uncles and cousins and everybody come there too. So um, I'm really hoping we're going to be able to do that. If we can do that, I will be thrilled. But if we can't, you just make the best of things and it won't be like this forever. So it's all right. We got this. <laughs> all right. Thank you guys so much for watching and let me know what you think of the look. And um. I'll talk to you guys very soon. As you can tell, I'm really happy. I'm really happy with what I've done here. Like, I don't really get that super geeked about a look very often, but I am really loving it. So I'm super excited. All right. I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye.